Good love others. Thanks again for tuning in to yet another video from Ms. Coming at you live from the West Coast yet again, San Jose, California. So let's go ahead and talk about these two very popular frame mounted fairings um, available to you guys. You know, it's just something that I've been uploading videos on. People have been mentioning, hey, uh, what about this fairing? What about that fairing? I have videos on a lot of these fairings. So you guys can check them out in the channel. But uh, I was talking about the FXRP style fairing from Clockworks and somebody in the comments mentioned, hey, can you bring up uh, the FX LRST, which is the Lowrider ST fairing, the new one, the sport touring. Uh, can you show us a comparison uh, or maybe just they just wanted to mention it or something like that. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Let's break it down between the two options. I've test ridden both. I mean, I own the FXRP, FXRT fairing. I've owned it for almost a year now. And I've test ridden the Lowrider ST uh, earlier this year. Test ridden, uh, you know, test ridden it for about uh, 10 miles. So it wasn't a lot of ride time. But uh, overall, my opinion, my impressions of the uh, Lowrider ST fairing, it was very impressive. I really liked it for the size of it, its footprint, uh, you know, it did amazing, all right, as far as the wind control, the wind protection, I was really, really impressed by the ST fairing, so, you know, overall design and the looks of it, I'm a fan of it, I really like it, it's a little bit of a modern take to the FXRP, FXRT fairing, you can see the overall shape of it, it's a little bit more rigid. A little bit more modern and it's got the vents as well just like the fxrp you see it vents light frame mounted fairing as well same thing over here same thing vents light and it's also frame mounted so very impressive it's not as huge or as big as the fxrp but man it really provides quite a bit of uh, wind protection and um, just like my fxrp fairing I didn't experience any wind buffeting or anything like that, but that really depends on the rider. That really depends on your size and that depends on the size of your helmet. So keep that in mind when I, you know, give you good feedback that doesn't, that doesn't necessarily transfer to everybody else. Uh, you know, folks riding that he had the FXRP FXRT fairing from Dominator and he got a lot of wind buffeting. He's taller than me. He's, I believe, almost six foot or five eleven, five ten. I believe. I'm not, not. I'm not entirely sure. He's just. He's bigger than me. So, you know, it's it, everybody's. It's gonna vary. Wind buffeting and wind protection. But for the most part, wind protection on both of these, they're from. They're <laughs> they're phenomenal. All right, they're great. Um, if you guys been seeing some of my motor vlogs, I typically don't motor vlog when I'm in highway freeway speeds or when I'm riding highway freeway because of the wind noise. But when I'm, you know, riding with these fairings, uh, I'm a little bit more comfortable motor vlogging with uh, with these fairings at highway speeds, 70, 80 plus. So enough rambling, enough rambling. Am I saying that right? It doesn't sound right in my ear. Enough rambling. Um, Let's go ahead and just give you my own pros and cons to both of these options. So I'm not going to be talking about the other aftermarket options for the FXRP, FXRT. Uh, this seems to be the the, the, the one that's kind of hot right now. This is the one that a lot of people are looking at. These, this uh, from Clockworks, this is the one that a lot of people are, are searching for. And I'm getting a lot of questions about the FXRT from Clockworks. So I'm going to compare it to this one. And, um, and then we're gonna, you know, just kind of look at both of them and then you guys can weigh your options or you guys could also, you know, share your feedback down in the comments, down below in the comments, let me know which one you're probably leaning towards. And maybe after this video, uh, you, you know, you could probably make a better uh, decision. So anyways, um, you can see the price right here. Now, as far as prices and the cost, of course, this is going to be the cheaper option 100 percent. okay so you can see this one with the bracket and a painted finish you know this is painted vivid black you're looking at 1528 1500 bucks that's painted ready to mount 
and a smoked lens. So you also have a little bit of a custom windshield um, as far as, you know, a little bit, I guess, a little bit of an, of, of an extra having that tint, that smoke tint on the windshield. I really like it. It's just, it looks, it looks better in my opinion. I like the way it looks and it gives it a little bit of, of a custom look. So this one off the bat, 1500 bucks painted. Uh, you could also, of course, paint match it to whatever you have. So if you have a 2020 Lowrider S, there you go. You have a Barracuda Silver. That's 1700 bucks. It's an extra $500. But overall, at the end, you're saving yourself hundreds and hundreds of dollars from getting it paint matched from Advan Black. So, and of course, on top of that, you don't have to worry about the prep, the primer, the paint, the clear coat, uh, you know, and then you're dropping off with somebody else, the painter, who knows if they have the, the proper uh, paint coat or, you know, the, the, the proper paint match. There's a lot of different colors out there available. And so far, as far as I've seen, and, and the feedback as far as Vadvan Black, they've been able to match uh, these these paints pretty, pretty good. So, um, you know, just overall, you know, just headache wise, this seems to be the better option. You don't have to deal with the painter. Some painters will charge you 700 to 1500 bucks. So potentially you're saving yourself $1,500 off of just the labor and the paint. So there's that. All right. So you're saving yourself potentially a thousand or two thousand dollars for going, you know, by just selecting this one. Anyways, another little benefit to this getting a paint match is the inner fairing, the backside of this. Unfortunately, I can't show you any images here, but uh, this comes paint matched on the inside as well. So it gives it a little bit more of a custom look, as you know, just based off of Harley's own. Uh, colors and lineup and models if you guys seen the the baggers you have the street glide and the road glide the standards they have a matte black on the inside or the inner fairing and then of course once you go up to a special or an st then that inner fairing uh, or that backside of the fairing they paint it high gloss black so like i said it's a little bit of a of a nice touch having you know the, the front of the fairing and the back side of the fairing or the inner fairing all one color it's just like i said it just gives it a little bit of a custom look so there's also you know that uh you don't get that with of course this you don't get it with the clockworks or any you know fairing there's a few manufacturers out there that do provide paint match but you don't have the same options as you do with the uh with the advent black you have 33 colors on top of what you see here, which is very impressive. Okay, guys, that's that's a lot of colors to uh, to choose from. And then, of course, we know the quality of the finish on this one. It is very, very good. Um, you know, just the quality of the finish and what you're getting for $1,700. That's a pretty good deal, in my opinion. So those are the pros. You also have a few features right here as well. You have an aggressive look with sharper edges. Uh, you need uh, everything you need in, to install the ST fairing on your bike is included. You don't have to go to Home Depot like I've done and search for special nuts, bolts, and spacers. This is, uh, you know, a, a less headache install compared to some of the other options, some of the aftermarket options. I'm not talking about Clockworks, but if you go with, you know, another manufacturer of the FXRP, FXRT fairing, you might find yourself visiting the hardware store looking for specific bolts and nuts to kind of get the fairing to fit on your bike. So headache, less headache, less money. You know, this this pretty much sells itself, guys. Uh, included a 10 inch windscreen, uh, which which uh, a 10 inch windscreen allows you to block uh, block and block wind while maintaining clear vision during rides. So. Uh, there's another little uh, feature. Enjoy uh, OEM rock. Okay, yeah, this this is another one that I didn't mention in the other video. You could install the Rockford Fosgate audio system. I believe it's 1100 bucks. Uh, so not only are you not drilling holes in your FXRP FXRT fairing, it's a it's a bolt-on piece. All right, it's 1100 bucks. Uh, if you want to add audio to this, 
you would have to drill into the, the fairing, then you have to make holes, and then you gotta find a location to mount the amp. So there's more work on, you know, on top of getting it painted. You know, this is gonna cost you, I mean, it's gonna cost you a little bit more depending on your audio setup, but it's pretty much a bolt-on audio system. Uh, that being said, from the Facebook group, Folks are not too happy with the performance of the Rockford Fosgate FXLRST audio setup. That's probably due to the amp not being as powerful as what you could probably get on the FXRT. Uh, and I think one of the main reasons why the audio's not, uh, you know, it's not that great on this fairing is because of the angle of the speakers. How it sits in the uh, in the Rockford Fosgate audio kit. How it sits, it's not angled up towards the writer. Uh, I, I think that's one of the the big cons. Uh, I can't show you any images because I can't show you the backside of this. But uh, the way the speakers sit, they sit uh, pointing, I, I believe, towards your chest. I think that's one of the cons. But Plex Audio, they sell a kit, of course, that will fit this. Uh, fairing it fits in it fits this fairing it's the little housing that i that i have on my bike so anyways moving on to the next thing interfering and wind deflectors are painted to match your bike's color so not only do you have of course the fairing you also have like these little mini lowers uh, uh wind deflectors if you own a street glide or if you own a road glide you know what that is it's just a little bit of an extra plastic piece right here in this area and i noticed you know just having that there i noticed how i was keeping some of the wind off of my knees like i said this is a, an impressive design from harley davidson all, you know all all in all it's i was very impressed uh, and then we have the cutout ring on the headlight is detachable allowing for easy mounting of the baja lp6 lights using uh, related brackets i think the uh, the fairing just looking at the images or the video uh, this video right here, you guys can check out the video on Advent Black's channel. From what I've noticed, uh, they actually have a kit, uh, a bracket already in the system that will fit a LP6. And not only is, it, not only will it fit an LP6, uh, it, it's also recessed into the fairing, which is very nice. I don't like that uh, look where the LP6 sticks out of the fairing. Uh, I'm not a fan of it. I really like when it's recessed prior uh performance they sell a bracket for this fairing but like i like i mentioned from seeing this video i believe the lp6 bracket is already included in this fairing so not only are you of course you know saving yourself hundreds of dollars you're potentially saving yourself about 150 dollars off of the lp6 bracket if you do decide uh, or if you are, you know, weighing or you're thinking about going with an LP6 light, then you're saving yourself a little bit of extra money. But just in case, contact Ad Advan Black. I'm pretty sure I am correct about this. I'm pretty sure this uh, fairing has the LP6 bracket built into the fairing. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm almost sure of it because the, the light ring that I saw in the video, that, that attaches to the LP6 bracket that that's already included in this but like i said if you're not too sure about that uh contact out of advan black i'm almost certain it has an lp6 style bracket uh in this uh fairing which is like i said it's another little benefit uh so those are the pros cons uh, i'd say the cons would be the same reason why you have the rockford fosgate you can really set up your own system you can set up your own uh you know you you, you could you could pick your own amp, pick your own uh, speaker system. Kind of like on my bike, I have five and a quarter Rockford, Fos Rockford Fosgate uh, speakers. And I also have four inch speakers from Kicker. And I have a 600 watt uh, uh, four channel amp in my FXRT fairing or my FXRP fairing. You can really customize uh, your audio system to whatever you want. You could even add additional uh, speakers onto of course the uh the fairing as well so that's i guess that's one of the cons uh another con i guess would be uh i i mean it really depends on the person but uh i think i think as far as you know the wind control and the wind deflection 
the FXRT fairing is a larger fairing. So, I mean, this does a really good job. It does a fantastic job. It, you know, blocks more wind than the uh, Road Warrior fairing, which is, you know, a, a good size fairing. It's a quarter fairing. But uh, this is, of course, this isn't going to block as, as, as much as the FXRT fairing. Uh, I think uh, one of the pros, sorry, that I missed out on is I think the overall weight of this fairing is lighter than the FXRT. I'm not entirely sure what this is made out of, but uh, I'm almost certain it's not fiberglass. So I believe this is, uh, I believe it's a urethane. Not entirely sure. It doesn't say the materials. Maybe it says it right here somewhere. So let me just take a minute. Anyways, I, I, I couldn't find it. I think it's a it's a poly or, or an ABS um, uh, a fairing. So it's as far as the weight, it is going to be a lighter option than the uh, than the FX uh, than the FXRT. From what I understand, the FXRT, depending on the manufacturer. It could weigh in any anywhere between 20 to 30 pounds. And of course, if you're adding uh, the audio system and of the LP6, which weighs six pounds, of course, that's going to add up. So as far as weight of the fairing, that's one of the pros. So sorry if I skipped over that, uh, you know, a little bit. I don't script these, these videos. So you have that uh, wind protection, I'd say, would be one of the cons. And, uh, you know, the ability to really customize uh, the audio system, I guess that would be another one. Um, as far as cons, you know, there isn't really any. This is a great fairing. I really enjoyed the Lowrider ST. I was very impressed with it. The overall, the weight of it, the way it handled. Like I said, it's a lighter fairing. It's a little bit smaller, but it really gets the job done when it comes to uh, blocking, you know, blocking the wind. And, uh, and noise and wind noise and all this other stuff. And like I said, for my own opinion, my own experience, uh, wind buffeting was was another plus. Uh, quit rambling and let's move on over to the FXRT. Or maybe, you know what, let, let's just mention the lowers. So if you're someone out there that wants a little bit more wind protection, you also have, of course, some lowers. And they look pretty good. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? They're 800 bucks. This is Toll's, uh, Toll Designs. Uh, they also make FXRT fairings as well and all this other stuff. So if you're looking for additional uh, wind protection and, you know, you're thinking maybe the FXRT because it could always get the lowers, you also have that option with uh, the FXLRST. There's also another manufacturer that makes light pods for uh, for this for this fairing. So you could add, uh, not only you could add the LP6, but I believe you could add the LP, uh, I can't remember, the S4s. Not, not, I'm not entirely sure, but you could add additional lighting uh, on this fairing with the light, with the uh, with the light pods on the fairing. So just to kind of show you guys a few images, they look just like the lowers on my FXLRST. They're just shaped a little bit different, but uh, they look, you know, they they look all right. They look pretty good. Uh, you know, just something to kind of think of if you want additional wind wind protection. These are pretty, you know. Pretty cool, yeah. I, I think they look, I think they look good, on on the on the overall build. You guys can let me know in the comments what do you guys think about the lowers. So let's go ahead and move on over to the FXRT, FXRP. This video is going to be a long one, guys. So pros, I say wind protection is one of the pros. Larger fairing, uh, you know. Looking at just this one, of course, you also have the flared, iconic, the iconic flared Clockworks uh, windshield looks fantastic i'm a huge fan of it it looks great uh the overall design of it the look of it of course you know every person has their own opinion i've been told multiple times that the fairing's absolutely hideous a lot of the geezers mentioned that they've never liked this fairing ever since they saw it in uh in the 80s they they thought it was horrendous but uh you could obviously obviously see the overall footprint of the fairing a lot larger so you're gonna get more wind protection I guess that's a pro uh, as far as, like I mentioned, with the cons with the uh, FXLRST, you could set up your own audio system. Clockworks offers an amp bracket that mounts onto the fairing and the bracket itself. So, you know, it, it takes a little bit of, of the guesswork out of it uh, by having that amp bracket. And like I mentioned, 
uh, everything's included so as like i said as far as the pros uh wind protection is one of them and i'd say the audio capabilities of the fairing is another one so not only of course can you set up your own audio system uh the speakers sit closer to the rider you guys have to remember that the speakers on the rockford fosgate they sit inside the fairing on this uh on this setup you could actually mount them on the back side of the fairing i'm not sure if i can show you some images but you can mount them right here i don't know if my mouse cursor stands out but you can mount uh, the speakers right here so they're going to be a little bit closer to the rider so that's going to help with uh you know with with the audio sound and and you know just being able to hear your tunes when you're doing 90 or 95 or 100 miles per hour down the road so those are i think those are the only pros to this uh there's a lot of cons so all the pros that you have with the fxlrst that's pretty much all the cons with uh this option so you have the clockworks option which is by far the most expensive it's two thousand bucks they claim that this is pretty much a bolt-on kit uh you don't have to really modify it. you don't have to trim it you don't have to do much of that i still believe you will have to prep it sand it and do a little bit of auto body to the you know to the finish um as far as you know if you're paying somebody to do that we're talking an additional 1500 bucks on top of the two thousand dollar price tag so this one to kind of get it to where it's just a bolt-on or maybe you're paying somebody to, to do it uh you're looking at potentially four thousand dollars for the fxrt fxrp option so you guys uh you guys are pretty much seeing you know some of the drawbacks of of this uh fairing but i i don't know i mean it's really up to you guys you guys can leave your comments what do you guys think you could probably like i said i mean you're you're pretty much paying half to kind of you know get uh you know get this because like i said once you include the uh the labor for this it's you know it's going to be closer to 3.5 to 4,000 bucks and i also mentioned something in the description of this fairing is the painter or the installer they don't care if it's a clockworks or they don't care if it's tcmt uh fairing which is you know by far the cheapest one i believe it's 900 bucks your painter or your installer they're going to charge you the same uh even if it is a clockworks or even if they do claim it's zero trimming and zero uh you know whatever it's a direct bolt on the thing is i mean there's a lot of work in the prep uh you know and especially depending on the finish that you get the paint there's a lot of things to consider but as far as you know getting this as a ready product to bolt on all in all with the price of the fairing you're probably looking at probably four thousand dollars so just you know something to consider and uh so that's one of the cons uh the price it's gonna be it's gonna be very very pricey two of course it's gonna be i guess the audio system like i mentioned you're gonna have to cut into it you're gonna have to drill holes into it you're gonna have to uh you know wire wire the amp and you know do all this other stuff you're gonna have to wire your speakers you're gonna have to solder stuff uh you're gonna have to add a fuse and all this other stuff the rockford fosgate is pretty much a a direct bolt on piece you just gotta connect it to your battery and that's pretty much it audio system on this it's gonna take more work and of course that's gonna cost you more money so there's another con the other con another con on top of those two is of course the weight of the fairing you're looking at anywhere between 20 pounds to 30 pounds and plus so there there's just the overall weight of it is another con uh and i think that's i think that's pretty much about it depending on the manufacturer you buy it from like i mentioned in my other video the fairing might sit lower the fairing might sit higher and the fairing might sit a little bit further away from your uh, fuel tank so that's another thing that you probably have to consider when you're looking at the different uh options that are available for the fxrt so that's pretty much it i think i think i covered everything uh, as far as you know myself would i buy the fxrt fairing again uh man i i don't know i mean seeing this i think i i mean i like the fxrt fairing i think the overall look of it the old school 
and everything. I, I don't know. I mean, if, if I were to do it all over again, I, I think I might lean towards the uh, the FX LRST fairing if I had to do, a little, do it all over again. But of course, I painted my own fairing. I fitted my own fairing. I prepped my own fairing. I did all the work myself. If I was paying somebody else to do it, I 100% go with the FX LRST from Adam Black. 100%. Save myself hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Uh, maybe thousands. Save myself thousands and just, you know, get this easy bolt on. I don't have to call anybody. I don't have to, you know, hound anybody else. Hey, is my bike finished? When is my bike going to be done? You guys get the point. So, uh, yeah, you guys can let me know in the comments. Long video. Hopefully this answers a lot of you guys' questions. I think the wind protection on the FX LRST is just a little bit better, okay? So if you do a lot of highway riding, maybe look at the FXRT and look at spending the extra money. But, uh, man, I don't know. I mean, it's tough to really recommend this over the other one. Um, you guys can decide. Uh, like I said, Riding Dad, he bought the carbon fiber one and he wasn't happy with it. He got rid of it. Uh, you know, that would suck for you to do all that prep and all that paint. Uh, spend 4000 bucks, and you guys are having issues as far as wind buffeting. And uh, I think the wind buffeting is probably one of the bigger ones. But uh, I don't know. You guys, let me know in the comments. All right. This is, this is a tough, uh, you know, tough subject to kind of tackle. But... Um, Hey, life's a risk. Get out there and ride. Later.